Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be measuring frequency. If you don't have a frequency counter or a digital oscilloscope, this will work. As you can see, I have a very nice analog oscilloscope here. But that doesn't have a built-in frequency counter, so I have to find out how to measure frequencies other ways. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to talk about measuring frequency. What are we actually measuring? So, here, this is our one complete cycle here. Over a second, this would be one hertz. As you can see, it goes up, reaches a peak, comes down, reaches a negative peak, and then comes up here in this uh, one second period. That would be one hertz. One hertz, because in one second period, this one cycle occurred. So let's say we want, we want to see what two hertz looks like. A bit more uniform, but um, more or less something like this. For two complete cycles in one second. And then you can get up into the kilohertz, megahertz range, and just basically how many more you can pack into there. For example, line voltage is 60 hertz, so it's 60 times uh, complete cycles in one second. All right, with my uh, clamp-on multimeter here, this will also work for measuring frequency. So what we'll do is we'll turn this on, and we'll go over here to uh, hertz, and let's see. There we go. That hurts. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll plug this into my auto transformer, just so that we don't uh, fry this a full 120 volts. So here we go. Plug it in. There we go. 59.99. So very close to 60 hertz. That's what's supposed to be there. So that's one way. You can use a. Uh, some multimeters have a hertz function on it, like this one. Now let's try measuring frequency with an oscilloscope. Alright, so right now we're viewing a line voltage signal. Right now I'm just feeding this up from my auto transformer just so it's a lower voltage. And just a uh, quick word about safety with the oscilloscope. So a quick word about safety when using an oscilloscope to measure line voltages is that this clip right here is grounded. You can bypass this by bypassing your ground, but that's not very safe because let's say you were to bypass your ground and you were to hook this up, that any metal thing on your oscilloscope that was connected to the ground would give you a shock like these BNC connectors my oscilloscope has a metal frame so that would uh, give you a shock if you were to touch that so it's not very safe another way you can do it is just simply unplug this and just use your oscilloscope probe just hook, hook right up like that and that would be just fine because this has a respect to ground and your oscilloscope has a respect to ground since it's grounded. So I'd say a uh, safer alternative to do it like that. Alright, let's get back to measuring frequency. Alright, hope you learned something from that. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to try to measure the frequency. So we'll start over on this corner right here. And we'll start here and we'll count the divisions over for a complete cycle. So, so here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, looks like about nine and a half divisions there. Well, let's see if we can zoom in there. You can see the uh, end of the cycle at, ends right in half there. So, that'd be about nine and a half divisions. So, we want to remember that. And also, if we come over here, we'll want to remember our main time division. Uh, here you go. So, we're at uh, two microseconds. Sorry, 2 milliseconds per division. So, we'll want to remember those. And now we'll go do some math. Alright, so now we have our two things we want to remember. 9.5 divisions across, and then 2 milliseconds. And what we'll do is we'll multiply these together. So that gives us, the answer is 19. And what we're going to do with that, we have our number 19. We're going to divide that by 1. Like this. And now that gives us the answer of 0 0.052. And now we want, this is in kilohertz, so we want to make this hertz. What we do is we multiply this by 1000, and that becomes 52. There you go. 52 hertz. So, our uh, digital multimeter earlier in the video, it read 60 hertz, or but 
99, and that's close to what it should be, 60 hertz. So my oscilloscope would be off by roughly 8 hertz, but that's all right. It works pretty anyway. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. But before we say goodbye, here's something to think about. Do you think herdage should be a word? For example, we have voltage, amperage, wattage. Do you think herdage should be a word? As you can see here, I have a 100 megahertz oscilloscope. But let's say I wanted a higher herdage oscilloscope, like 150 megahertz. Higher herdage. Herdage, very good word. Let me know if you think that'd be a good word. And I'll see you next time.